everybody this is day one at home and uh, I've been so sleepy today Um, I got up and I've been sticking to the hospital routine got up at the same time had breakfast went down the stairs did my kind of laps of down the stairs uh, and then I came up for a nap Um, woke up about lunchtime had lunch and did my laps and I'm just out the shower and this is why I've got um, curly hair because I've naturally got curly hair and I haven't sorted it yet because I didn't want to style my hair with um, my uh, wounds showing. Uh, so I am covered in a sheet. This is my makeshift. But, um, and I have got them aired. Ta -da! Uh, I was told to air them for uh, a while every day. I think I am supposed to air them all the time. But because clothes would rub against them and fluff might go into them, especially since it's near my belly button, I was a bit wary of that. So uh, I have had a shower and taken the old plasters off and I'm going to let them air um, for a while before I put the new plasters back on. So I am going to lie. I'm actually uploading stuff onto my computer just now, all the footage that I took in the hospital. And I'm going to do some mindfulness. I'm going to do my body scan while I lie here just to chill out. Um, today has been quite uneventful so far. Uh, I've had a couple of visitors in. Um, but other than just being quite tired and napping, <laughs> that's that's about it. Um, I'm quite glad to be home. It's just, I got a really good sleep last night and I've got pillow. I've got a towel on my pillow so my pillow doesn't get wet because my hair is still wet. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really nice to be home and I slept a lot better and I only needed one strong pain colour through the night which was really good. So um, yes, everything seems to be going well at home. So I'm going off to do my mindfulness now and if anything else exciting happens I will let you know. Hello everybody, this is day number two and me and my dad, who is just behind me, are out for a little walk and um, I have to walk a little bit extra each day so this is my first time outside in like a week uh, I keep looking down just to make sure I'm not going to trip over stuff <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a little bit today and then each day I'm going to walk a little bit further and a little bit further but I've got to remember that I've got to walk back again so I can't walk too far away <laughs> because then I'll be really tired for coming back. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hello everybody. This is exactly one week after my operation and I wanted to show you just how mobile I am. So I can bend around this way. I hope there's no doctors watching this being like, uh, you shouldn't be doing that. And I can sit down quite easily and I can stand up quite easily. And I'm going to show you how the uh, nurses showed me how to get in and out of bed. So I'm just going to scoosh back a little bit. Um, they didn't really show me how to get into bed. I was just kind of doing that all by myself. Um, but I just kind of moving your hands down while you're moving your feet up. And that's you on your side. And then you can just roll over onto your back. And exactly the same when you're getting up. So you kind of move your, crawl your hands down. You're pu pushing yourself up with your hands as you're moving your feet down. Da da. And then I just kind of move forward, squish to the end, and then up. Now, I'm not too sure how I should be getting stuff off the floor. And I do like to drop things. So, my purse. Oh, I dropped it. So, I have been doing a kind of plie. And I've just realised that you can't see this, because I can't go back far enough. So I'm kind of bending my knees out to the side, in kind of ballet fashion. Um, so my knees are going out to the side, like this. And I've been bending down, pick up what I want, coin has fallen out, <laughs> and then I just kind of like bring myself back up. Oh, beautiful fashion. <laughs> um, I'm not really too sure how else to do it, so I've been trying to kind of keep my stomach and my back as straight as possible, and it's all kind of bending from the knees that I've been doing. Um, I think I have possibly been doing a bit of this to get things which I shouldn't have been doing. Uh, my bottom of my back has been a bit sore. So my stomach has been fine. A um, little bit 
Out of the 10 thing I've been saying about two pain wise, uh, it's more been discomfort rather than anything. Areas of me that have been sore are my shoulders and the bottom of my back and I think, sorry, la la, I think what I've been doing is kind of tensing up everywhere else and using, especially in hospital, using my arms on, they've got those um, railings on the side of your bed so I've been kind of hauling on them, pulling myself up, so I think that's probably strained bits of me. Uh, but as you can see, I'm quite, I'm quite bendy. I can do all kinds of, ooh, this way for that one, all kinds of things. Um, so I think maybe tomorrow I might have a go at, I'll look online and try and find the Che Gong exercises we did. And try and remember them and do a video on that when it was the kind of catching the moon type thing because I reckon now would be the kind of time where that kind of gentle exercises would probably be quite good and I have been for my walk today with my dad so we went for a little bit of a walk today and we'll probably just make it a wee bit longer each day um, so yes it's all going well so one week on this is what I can do voila